What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a very wonderful day. We got some Thursday night football. Got some action out there in Chicago, right? The Bears taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think this is going to be a very, very good game. Two, three, and one teams. Tampa, man, they're averaging close to 30 points per game. The over-under in this game is 44, which would seem very low considering that in the 11 ball games last week, at least one team scored 30 points. I mean, listen, I mean, the offenses here are doing really well at the start of the season. Tom Brady's getting better by the week. He had 369 yards, five touchdowns. Did have another pick six, which is a problem here for Tom Brady. Second pick six here in uh, uh, this season. He had two pick sixes last year, right, in, in, in the latter half of the season, week 17 and also in the playoffs. Okay, so Chicago as a home underdog. They've covered 11 out of the last 16 ball games, and the under has hit in the Bears' last three home games. It hit last week. The Bears lost to the Indianapolis Colts 19-11. And Chicago's offense, man, has been pretty good in the fourth quarter, but not in the first three quarters. They're averaging close to nine points per game the first three quarters of ball games, right? And their three wins against the Lions, the Falcons, and the New York Giants, right? They beat the Giants 17-13 at home. So in both of the Bears' games this year, 30 points were scored, okay? Now... Tampa's offense, very, very good, getting better by the week. But O.J. Howard's out. Chris Godwin is not walking through that door, fans. He's also out. Mike Evans is banged up. Scotty Miller is banged up. Leonard Fournette is banged up. Chicago's defense gives up close to 20 points per game. You got to respect them, right? Only three days to prepare for this Chicago defense. I think they're going to have some, maybe some success against Tom Brady. And um, I don't, Chicago offensively, I don't think this is a good matchup. I really don't. I mean, Chicago can't run the ball. They had 28 yards rushing last week against Indianapolis. Tampa's very good against the run. And Tampa has 14 sacks. Todd Bowles is very, very creative. I'm very surprised that the Chargers scored 13, 31 points last week. Okay, so I really got to tip my hat to old Justin Herbert. He is balling right now, scoring 31 points. But I just do not see Nick Foles doing that. You know, I just... Uh, I, I'm, I'm not feeling it, so I don't think too many points will be scored in this ball game. And you know, like over under 44. I mean, it's so low. You're like, what? What? Bet the over. But taking all this into consideration, I gotta go with the under. 44 points at minus 110. And my final score for this ball game is Bucks 23, Chicago 19. Bucks five and a half points. I think it might be a little bit too much here. Okay, Bucks five and a half point favorites at minus 110 money. But I'm going with uh, with with Chicago. This is a really tough one. They're all very very tough, right? I mean, look at the Bears, man. I mean, beating the Lions, the Falcons, the Giants really haven't beaten anybody this year. And Tampa, they beat the Panthers and Broncos. Didn't really impress. But 38 points against that Charger defense, man. That really really gets my attention. But it's gonna be cold, and it's gonna be in Chicago. It's gonna be close close to the 50s right out there in Chicago. I'm here in Miami. Miami weather's in the 90s, right? Chicago's going to be in the 50s. But, um, okay, so I'm going to go with the under at minus 110. I'm going to go with the Bears plus the 5.5 also at minus 110. We shall see what happens. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thursday Night Football It's going to be a good one this week. It's going to be a very, very good one, okay? For everything regarding the world of betting, you can go to oddshark.com. Bye. <laughs>